Hello strangers, welcome. <laughs> well, as a result today, all the stress, all the pressure is now gone. You've, you know, you've seen what's on your paper. You could be really happy right now, or you could be questioning your life. But we'll talk about that in a bit. But congratulations to everyone regardless. You know, it also so tough, and I don't even need to say this to you, because, you know, there's the social aspect of it. There's applications, there's the whole academics that are just difficult regardless and the exams gosh they did not hold back this year <laughs> but yeah just honestly congrats I'm so happy for you guys you've made it through you know and double congratulations to the people who you know got the grades that you needed for x y or z it could be you know you wanted to achieve these grades to prove a point to yourself or it could be for your university offer or your apprenticeship offer or whatever it is congratulations and you know making your dreams occur you know it's uh it's a surreal feeling because when you get the grades um you're starting to realize gosh the world is my oyster it is what I make of it um and yeah honestly if there's anything I can tell you or the thing I've really learned from results day is that dreaming is very powerful but putting in the work and like you know dreaming alongside it is like power there's no power greater than that so let today be a lesson for you okay that with hard work with determination with perseverance and continuation um you know you can get the stuff that you want done <laughs> however however as for the people who feel disheartened by their grades so you didn't get the grades that you wanted let's put your thoughts and feelings into perspective because last year right you know when i did my a-levels <laughs> It was insane. Tell me how I went into the main hall, right? I'm here joyful, happy, I'm just skipping. But I'm thinking to myself, why is the main hall quite, what's the word, a bit empty, you know? I was expecting, like, every, it to be extremely packed. Like, it was packed, but not what I had imagined. And that's because everybody, well, some people didn't come because I came early in the morning, regardless. Excuse the point. But people were in the clearing room. Now, when I tell you, I have never in my entire existence seen the biggest, like, plot twist ever. That day, results day, had me shocked about what people were doing. You know, for their respective reasons. But tell me how. Tell me how, guys. Tell me how. People who had applied for, like, a biology degree and stuff, why are they doing accounting and finance now? People who said, yeah, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm going to go into, like, medicine, dentistry. I'm sorry, what? what? <laughs> Why are they doing bio then now? Or, like, some of them would, did a whole 180 and are now doing, like, another degree, like, zoology or something. Like, it's insane what happens on results day. Because for those who did get, you know, didn't get the grades that, they, you know, you want, you're in a big camp you're not the only one okay the amount of students i tutored um the past academic year who were resets was astonishing everybody has their own reason so my purpose here is to put everything into perspective okay i put two photos up right it says there is no shame in trying again okay reset listen who cares what people think okay it doesn't matter that next year okay let's say you did want to reset Okay, it could be for yourself, it could be for your ego and pride, it could be that you need those grades to apply for university for your course, right? There are so many different reasons that can come into play. And you know what even shocked me the most was that the amount of people who are ill or the amount of people who are sick or are in hospital during A levels, like, I'd, am I like circled that? wasn't a thing like nobody had gone to hospital and stuff but when I tutored I realized oh my god the amount of people who were genuinely ill and like literally hospitalized during a level exams and before that was astonishing so that's why they had to resit like there are so many reasons that come into play here and there's no shame listen you're gonna be working until what 60 or something do you think you res resetting your A-levels at 18, 19 is going to matter? No. It's, it's not even a speck in your whole life. It's a half a speck. <laughs> like you can't... You have to look at it under a microscope in re relative to the years you're going to be working and, you know, living. Fingers crossed. <laughs> and when the why is clear, the how is easily. 
Okay, if you didn't get the grace for your course, reset. Easy. If you, you know, got into university, like loads of, not loads, but a few of my friends did this, right? They are literally in university. They're studying some sort of science degree, okay? A very prestigious university as well, my sad. But because of their ego and pride, <laughs> they reset. Uh, reset their exams for themselves because they wanted higher grades but they're still at university that is a thing you can also do if you didn't know that already okay however there's another camp of people who are like oh you know i want to get masters oh i want to get phd later on and i need to make sure i get like i don't know above a's something like that and they got let's say three b's yeah they're gonna reset they're still gonna be in university but they will reset in the summer um so that for their future, when they apply for a master degree, for example, sorry, a master's degree, then they have the like higher grades for it. So when the why is clear, why you need those grades, whatever they are, the how is easy. It's not rocket science. If you didn't get the grades, reset. If you got the grades for your course, but you're not happy with it, still reset. You can still be at university. I'm telling you all these stories so that y- you know, because there's nothing worse than like, I don't know, taking a gap year, uh, let's say like you're halfway through a gap year and then you realise, wait, I could have avoided this if I'd done this path, but you didn't know it. So I'm just trying to share some knowledge. Um, Right, now, get a pen and paper ready, yeah? And I need you to reflect on these questions because at this time, you know, it's very easy to start crying um, and just being really angry. And you know what? Those feelings are so valid and you do that. But then towards the end of today, or the coming days, just sit down and you need to reflect on what you're going to do next, okay? Remember, this is not rocket science. There have been so many thousands of people behind you and currently in the same position as you. You are not the only one, okay? I need you to know that, okay? Darling, it's all going to be fixed, don't worry. So, here are the questions. This is the first question, is the most important question, though. Can you still continue with your plans? Can you still go and study the course you want at your university? Even though you got bad, not, sorry, not bad grades, but the grades that you didn't want. Okay, there's a difference. Can you still continue? Like, literally, I want you to write these questions and start doing like a, like a flow chart. Yeah? Secondly, are these grades going to hinder your future? For example, for university, for your course, for your uh, further higher education, so your master's, for example. Simply, do you need to retake or do you want to retake? Okay. So it's a valid question, yes or no? Um, fourth one is what do you think went wrong? Because this is very important. It's not important for just like just for people who are gonna reset their exams. It's gonna be important for your life, okay? Because A levels it's like mm, it's like a whole training camp, if you think about it, right? It's training you for the future because the level of preparation and level of, you know, academic pressure it has been the highest you've ever experienced thus far in your life and it can only get higher and higher um, without scaring you. <laughs> um, so you really need to think, what went wrong? Okay, put your ego at the door, put your bride at the door and slam it shut, okay? Really, truly think, was it a lack of preparation? Did you revise too late? Did you not have enough resources? Um, was your study methods not effective? Was your exam technique, okay? Or was it stress? Did you fumble under pressure? This question should take the most time, to be honest, because the more you really get to the juicy part of, you know, what went wrong, the more you can be able to adapt and think, you know what, I'm not going to do this again. You know what, I'm going to learn from this lesson because, let me tell you, you fail once Go ahead. No problem. Everyone fails. Second time round, if you do the same mistakes, mate, it's on you. Okay? Now that is shameful. Because you didn't learn from the first time round. Okay? Never repeat what you did wrong. Second time. Yeah? And lastly, what have you learned? This kind of links to question, sorry, uh, point four really, but what have you learned from this experience? And how are you going to make sure these same mistakes do not occur again? Remember? The situation you're in is not rocket science. There is a clear path of what you need to do and what you need to take and what you need to think, okay? Don't worry about it, darling. Do not worry about it. All is well. Okay, just keep repeating that to yourself. All is well. This chapter's going to finish very soon, you know. Just take your life in eras and chapters. 
And also think about what Nick Wilde would do if you know the reference I'm on about. He'd be very slick about it and very nonchalant about it, okay? If some, like, you know, if this popsicle... <laughs> sorry, guys. If this popsicle business went bust, well, he'll think of another plan, yeah? And lastly, I really want to tell you guys thank you so, so, so much for the support on my channel. Like, it was crazy, the, the growth that this channel's had. I... And in a billion years, never thought this was going to occur this fast. And this whole Biodexantic community is the best. Like, the joy I would have waking up in the morning, checking my YouTube like, analytics, my comments, and knowing it's going to be a good day because these comments are hilarious. You guys are so funny. The things you guys come up with are just... Round of applause, honestly love i actually love every single one of you and you know i don't know if this is the first video you're seeing from me or you've been there since exam season but hand on heart thank you for the support and i truly 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 hope um you know the videos were useful for you guys and this video was useful as well and i could you know be a little part of your a-level journey that would be great <laughs> but yeah thank you guys I, I truly love every single one of you and lastly, let me know what your future plans are. What grades did you get? I need to know. I need to know. What grades did you get? Where, you, where are you going? What course are you going to study? Are you taking a gap year? If you didn't get the grades that you wanted, what are you going to do next? You know, let me know. Let's have a little conversation in the comment section below. <laughs> Last conversation. Oh, it's making me tear up, guys. I'm going to miss you. <laughs>